After two tough losses on the road down in Texas last week, the Old Dominion basketball team returned home today with a strange tip-off time, 5.30, and a great desire to rebound with a win. I'm Bruce Rader. Welcome to the Sports Wrap Live on this Thursday night with the Conference USA Tournament less than three weeks away. Every game is a big game this time of year, and tonight Old Dominion took on one of the weaker teams in their conference, Southern Miss. Old Dominion coach Jeff Jones trying to snap a two-game losing streak. First half, ODU not really firing on all cylinders. Aaron Bako from Hampton with a pretty drive to the hoop. Monarchs up five at halftime. Second half, though, a totally different story. Southern Miss was within one, and then Old Dominion goes on a run. Trey Freeman with the off-balance lay-in. He had 18 points. Then it's Jonathan Arledge, the graduate student with a big two-handed slam. That fired up the crowd, and so did this next possession. Another Jonathan Arledge dunk. This one from the other side of the rim. The possession after that, what else? And who else but another Jonathan Arledge dunk, all part of a 28-5 run by ODU. Old Dominion pulling away. You know things are going your way when Aaron Baycoat throws up the three and banks it in. Even he couldn't believe it. And then the fast break, Baycoat again in front of the pack, throws down the dunk. Old Dominion snaps a two-game losing streak with a 64-38 blowout win over Southern Mississippi. Yeah, that was great to see. Uh, we were just so sluggish in, in, in the first half, but uh, you know our guys kind of uh, had some time uh, to themselves at, at halftime. Coaches left, and they just kind of uh, talked it out, and, and they were ready to play. So it's a credit to them uh, of, of, of coming, you know, responding with uh, a lot more energy in that second half, and that's what it was because our, our defense was it was pretty good in the first half, but we just kind of were blah. Um, in, in the second half, you know, our defense was even better. We were on the boards. We were able to get out in transition. A couple dunks here, you know, a, a, a three-pointer there, and now all of a sudden, you know, we've 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 got some some momentum. The crowd's into the game, uh, and uh, it was kind of off off to the races for us. Back to that second half, the spark clearly the three consecutive dunks by Jonathan Arledge, and here's what the players had to say about that sequence. John's a really talented player, and we, we knew he was, the dude that was guarding him was undersized, so we were just trying to get him the ball the best we could. Coach drew up some sets for him, so yeah, so we had to get him to rock, basically. I wasn't playing well the first half. Um, second half, I, I, I changed, I stepped up, um, changed my mindset, and got ready to play. And uh, coach, the assistant coaches and, and, and our, our, our players that are sitting out this, uh, this year uh, got on me in the, in the locker room at halftime and that helped. So um, they, they also, again, thanks to my teammates and everyone who's around, around us that, that push us. Ah, uh, but Saturday things get even tougher as the Monarchs take on the league's number one team, Louisiana Tech. 